Welcome back to MDS Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to set up SMTP server in Gmail. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time on Gmail, I need you to click on the create an account option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Setting up an SMTP server in Gmail is essential for sending emails programmatically from applications or email clients because Gmail's SMTP server settings will allow you to configure your email client or application to send messages through your Gmail account. That means you would be able to automatically send order confirmations, password resets, and other transactional emails from your application or website because you can set up automated notifications and alerts such as reminders or status updates to keep users informed. Now, for you to be able to set up an SMTP server, I need you to go to your account on the upper right corner and click on manage your Google account. Click this one, manage your Google account, and then now once you are inside the Google account, I need you to click on the security and make sure that the two-step verification or the 2FA is turned on. If you're not sure if it's you activated the 2FA, you might want to click on this option right here. But of course, doing so will require you to log into your account. Just click on next. Now, as you can see, my account is protected with the two-step verification or 2FA so make sure you turn on your account as well after that you need to go back to the security settings now i need you to go to the search google account option here and type in a uh, password this is very crucial for us to be able to set up the smtp and click on the app passwords. What will happen is you would be forwarded here and we just need to create the app passwords because it'll help us sign into your Google account in older apps and services that don't support modern security standards. But of course, what we need to do from here is essentially... Now, in creating name, it's up to you. Maybe something like, I don't know, this one. And click on create. Now the password for your device is very crucial so i need you to copy this put it in a secure place like your wordpad notepad your google docs or your microsoft for the right and the next thing that we need to do from here is go to now once you are inside a browser i need you to go to the uh, url and type in smtp test tool and look for an answer now you need to choose the SMTP test tool. There's a lot, but uh, what I, I do suggest is to click the first option. Just wait for it to load. And now here, for the SMTP server, it's already put it in here. Maybe like put in smtp.gmail.com. Now on the port, it's up to you. You can use 25, 25, 25, 4, 6, 5, and 5, 8. 5, 8, 7. I'm going to use like 25 for now and just leave all these settings here. Now on the username though, or just to be sure, go to the security and choose SSL. Now for the username, it should be the Gmail address that you are currently using. In my case, that's going to be andyguide.com or simply just the email, put in the email. And of course, the password is the password we have earlier. Remember that? I simply need you to copy the entire information because remember, when you use this app for your password device, you can simply go to the settings for your Google account in the application or device you are trying to set up. Replace your password for the 16 character password shown above. And just like your normal password, this app password grants complete access to your Google account. You won't need to remember so don't write it down or share it with anyone else. But of course, after that, click on done. Copy that. All right. And switch over to the SMP, SMTP test tool. Now, enter your password. All right. And make sure all the information here is correct. Because if you, if, you, if you don't, what will happen is you would not be able to generate the SMTP test tool. And you can't uh, receive an email from this platform all right but for now we're gonna click the blue button here to test it you see 
there's going to be an error while attempting to establish an SSL or a TLS connection. So these are the common reasons for that to happen. Now, maybe let's check or uh, change the port from uh, maybe a 465 to see if that would work. Click on test. There you go. We are now connected to SMTPS. All right. So if you have the expertise and of course the uh, coding knowledge, you might want to dive deep into this um, code. But of course, I don't have that background, so I'm going to skip it. What I'm going to do instead is go back to my Gmail and check if that works. You see, there's a lot of that you can choose from here. The ones loading is uh, just ignore it. All right. It's nothing. And again, using the SMTP tool, uh, test tool will transform your Gmail account to an email marketing powerhouse because GMAS, the uh, software, is easy to learn and easy to use. You can try GMAS for free. All I'm going to do is add it to your Chrome Web Store as an extension. It's a powerful mail merge for Gmail. All right. After that, let's uh, skip that and go to the Gmail itself. Now, as you can see, we have received something as the smtp test from smtp.gmail.com if we click on it just to make sure that we have uh received the correct settings and voila now once you have set that up gmail provides smtp services as part of its free account offerings making it a cost-effective solution for small to medium-sized businesses or personal projects you can easily scale your email sending capabilities as needed, leveraging the email Gmail's infrastructure without the need for additional investments and in dedicated email services. Because you can access extensive support, documentation from Google, including troubleshooting guides and best practices for using Gmail's SMTP server. And again, don't be afraid to check the uh, GMAS SMTP tool because from here you have the uh, pricing if you're interested. They have the standard, which is $25 per month, $35 per month for the premium professional, which is $55. And again, if you encounter any problems along the way with setting up your SMTP server in your Gmail, I highly suggest you go to the Gmail help and from here, describe your issue, press enter if you can see an answer. If not, just hover to the post to the help community, type in your question and describe your summary in detail and of course one of the active members of the gmail help community will give you an insight and troubleshooting steps on how to set up your smtp server in gmail if in case you encounter any problems along the way i believe that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one